the patient suffered a neck trauma when boxing five days before the present examination. He noticed an increasing mass in the location of the right thyroid within hours after the trauma. There is a cystic nodule surrounded by a thin echonormal rim. We can see now the breakage of the fibrotic bundle dividing the chambers of the cyst which can be observed infrequently. I saw this injury of the fibrotic bundle only in the case of a traumatic cyst. The presence of the halo sign and paranodular blood flow disclose that this lesion is not a pseudocyst but a cystically degenerated nodule. First phase of the draw-off, we evacuate the largest chamber. The stream of the cystic fluid towards the needle is well seen. We try to draw off the whole content of the cyst. We can see the tip of the needle within the cystic part and the two red arrows point to a region of our interest. Here we will see a stream of blood flow during the next puncture. As we can see, the cyst is partly refilled within 30 seconds after the previous phase of evacuation. Note a small vessel dorsal lateral left and behind to the needle within the echonormal part which refills the chamber while we try to evacuate the cyst. In this picture, the red arrow points to a cystic part and the green arrow points to a moderately hypocogenic lesion which will increase during the evacuation of the cystic area. So we try to draw off a cystic chamber in the ventral part of the lobe, but the increasing moderately filled means that as I am drawing off the cyst and it is getting refilled at the same time. Another attempt of aspiration. Two initially small lesions can be seen left to the needle and they increase in size. Another puncture. I already aspirated 18 milliliters bloody fluid until this time, but the size of the nodule remained the same. The needle is within the dorsal chamber, but instead of a decrease, the size of this area increases. The cystic fluid occluded an artery and as we draw off the cyst this occlusion ceases. Although 23 milliliters cystic fluid was aspirated until the end of the process the size of the lesion stayed the same. Now we do not aspirate, the video demonstrates the spontaneous refillment of the cyst. The nodule is shown before the process, and now after the process. There is no significant change in size.